Hi friends, this is the 16th video tutorial inside the video lecture series on a machine learning. So in the last lecture we have seen about the different types of scaling. So we discuss about the min max scalar and the standard scalar. So in this lecture we are going to see about this normalized scalar and a binarized scalar. How you can normalize data with the help of scikit-learn library and how you can binarize those data in scikit-learn. So let's start. So uh, in the last uh, tutorial we have seen we have just taken a very simple uh, data set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 uh, three in a 3 cross 3 uh, matrix we apply this mean max scalar and uh, we apply this standard scalar and we have seen the result uh, with the help of uh, this fit and transform of function and we have uh, with the help of formula also we have calculated that how we are arriving at the same result and how so exactly the scikit learn library will do uh, with this way now let's start So if you haven't gone through the very first two uh, scalar functionality, you can watch the last video uh, tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to see about the binarize actually, how we can binarize the data. So let's first print the uh, x. What is our x? x is nothing but 1 to 9 value in a 3 cross 3 matrix. So there is total 3 rows and a 3 columns. Each row is indicating individual record and each column is indicating individual features. So first feature is 1, 4, 7 second is two five eight three six nine now what this binarize uh, will do i have written just the threshold so this binary uh, binarize uh, scaling uh, functionality the pre-processing functionality what it will do will apply some threshold value and what it will do whatever the value about that threshold value it will put it into one it will transform it into one and whatever the value which is below this threshold value will supply it will be less than uh, it will be zero whatever the value less than threshold so let's uh, apply it so in our pre-processing step we have a binarizer binarizer is the pre-processing scaling uh, class and we will supply any threshold so suppose our data is ranging between 1 to 9 so let's supply suppose 5.0 okay and we will fit it to the x okay we need to transform also i always forget it okay so uh, it has generated the all value between uh, 0 to 1 it always not even a between 0 to 1 it just generate 0 and 1 because it's a binary data either 0 or either 1 so I have kept the threshold 5 so whatever the value above 5 like a 6 7 8 9 it has put it to 1 and remaining all value will be 0 let's try to change the threshold like a 3 let's see okay so whatever the value above 3 it has generated uh, it has put one value and whatever the below 3 it has generated the 0 uh, so it has transformed 1 2 3 into 0 and remaining all value will be 1 so this way this binarizing uh, thresholding thing the works inside the scikit learn library and this is very straightforward there is this is simple if else kind of classifier uh, nothing like uh, any kind of formula we can verify it's very straightforward now let's see about this uh, how you can normalize data how uh, the normalizer you can uh, use inside this scikit-learn library so what this normalizer will do it will take in each and uh, individual each and every row and it will divide it by the norm value of individual row now let's see how it's working so let's first display our x so we can immediately compare it with the earlier cell very fast now this in pre-processing module or a sub module of this sklearn library we have a normalizer so by default if you don't uh, supply any argument it will take l2 norm l2 norm is nothing but in a two dimensional uh, uh, space or multi-dimensional uh, space 
the distance of any point from the origin which is nothing but the norm of individual vectors or uh, records and we will supply fit x to the fit function and then transform it okay so what it has done here we have done we have created the object of this normalizer class and we have applied the fit function on the top of it with argument x so this fit function uh, will do nothing but it will find the norm value of individual uh, records so, and uh, this transform will actually transform the data with the help of this formula so this formula is saying that for individual rows it will take the original records which is nothing but each row original record and it will divide by the norm value of each record so let's see what it has generated and with the help of formula also we will evaluate okay so it has generated is 0 0.2672625 for the first record so it has transformed one to this value so this is our all normalized value because we have divided individual record by the norm of individual uh, record so let's uh, for the very first one uh, we will calculate so x y will just keep x 0 x 0 is suppose 1 which is nothing but our first value okay now uh, how we can find the norms of uh, norm value of first record then we will divide this x 0 by that norm and we will tally that whether it is 0 0.26 20, 26.72 or not so the norm of first record the zeroth record let's see so norm of zero record is nothing but the square root of the sum of the square of individual values so we can go with like uh, mat dot sqrt function so square of the first fun first value will be one plus two square is nothing but the four plus nine okay oh okay so what it will do actually for first very first record it will take an l2 norm which is nothing but the square root of the sum of the square of individual values so square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square okay so we got this norm 0 and let's now divide this x 0 by norm 0 okay uh, uh, there is some problem okay math is not defined so we need to import this math module of this python okay so we got it so x0 will be 1 norm will be uh, square root of 1 4 uh, 1 plus 4 plus 9 and we have divided this x0 as per our formula each row each rack each uh, value of each row will be divided by the norm of individual row so we have divided the very first record divided by the norm of 0 now uh, suppose we divide the x instead of x0 uh, let's uh, go for this 2 so x1 will be suppose 2 norm 0 will remain the same because all for the first uh, record the norm will be 1 plus 4 plus 9 square root of that and we will divide this second value with divide by norm okay so it has generated 0 0.5345 which is uh, tally with our the data which transform by this normalizer class of the scikit learn so this way uh, we have seen uh, in this uh, last tutorial and this tutorial how we can scale uh, individual data with the help of scikit learn functionality basically and a pre-processing module mm. okay so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it